After successfully completing their loyalty tests last week, the Knights of the Square Table have been thusly summoned to the King's most private of areas to receive their next royal errands. B00, I'm extremely pleased with the progress yes. that the Knights of the Square Table have made this week. I'm not sure if you've seen all their wondrous works. I'm here. I have. Oh. 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 Speaking of which. Wow. Oh, you there. speak when spoken to. You're late. Wait, was that? That was not me. That was yeah, him. He, got... he got my horn. Oh. Wow. That, that was really that was really cruel of you to say to our king like that, B-Dubs. I would never. I'm really disappointed I would never in you. say that to him. I'm very confused. Ren, okay, I would never right. say that to you. He blew a horn to try to make me say that. Oh. Ren, if you'd like, I, I will take that third seat at the throne just to kind of balance out this kind of toxic, smelly, mossy atmosphere. I mean, here. you know, it's... Uh, this is all very confusing. Scar, would you please take a seat? Take a seat. Take a no, seat. Course, I have some work course. Course. Over there, over if you will, no, please. not on the bed. Oh, over here. Not fine. on the bed. There we go. Welcome, Scar, to... My most private of areas. My bedroom. I love being in your most private of areas. Thank you. I I wanted to bring you over here today to firstly find out if you've done your royal loyalty task. Have you done it? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Excellent. Do you have pets, Ren? I'm, I'm very... I've got some pets. Oh, yeah, Sir Cubberlot. Yeah. Sir <laughs> Cubberlot. Oh. Yeah, he's next. He's yeah. he's next in line. He's next he's in line. Waiting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. He's next in line. Um, um. Anyway, yes, I have completed the royal task Excellent. of providing giga pies in the most prize of areas in my shop, and the sales mm -hmm. are tremendous. People are talking about it Excellent. from far and wide. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Just jot and that down as five shop, points basically. for my reputation. Thank you. Good stuff, Scar. I. I have to be honest with you, as as king, I've invited you here for a very private discussion. Mm -hmm. Because I just, I can't get that party out of my mind, man. I just, I can't shake it. I, it's... The party in your privates? Yeah. Your private area? Yeah. Yeah. The infection has taken hold. <clears throat> I want revenge. And there is only one person who I, I think can do the job. Hot guy. Oh. What do you want me to do, Ren? I want you to bring me the head of every heathen that was at <laughs> that party defiling the vault. Except, uh, could I get an exemption? I was there, but I didn't know. No way, no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> quiet from the background. Except oh, for B-dubs. B-dubs is exempt. Yes. Thank I you. will murder all of them. I will bring you their heads. It'll be raw. It will be dripping with blood. Oh. Excellent. Now I have a couple other matters to discuss with you. One, I haven't gotten my royal salary this week, so that's that's one. Okay. And then two, yep. I have a proposal for you. The king so, has other meetings to attend to today. We thank you for your presence, and we ask you to kindly to. leave. <laughs> Scar, off, off with your, off with you. We will talk about it later. Please you take these royal flowers to. with with you, and you will yeah. you will leave this poppy on every corpse that you leave on the server. Letting okay. them but, but I'm going to build an endorsement shop, and I'm going to bring you diamonds, Ren. Hey. It's going to be great. How do I get out of here? I, there's Put a window. Through the window. There's... Through the window. Uh, the excuse me. Oh. Goodbye. E excuse yeah. me. There's people. People. Here. Knights. The king, there, there's... King What's happening here? There's, there's an invasion. Him. There's oh, an invasion. Great job, Scar. I um, know all of them. There's, there's an invasion? Wow. Yes, it was an invasion. We were invaded. What happened? I, there were people in here from soup. Did they? I thought you your invited bed? them, Ren. Uh, I no, I did. I would never invite that lot to my private area. Are you crazy? No. Oh, okay. Well, I saw them in here, and I just thought they were they were invited guests. And uh, but I, when you said they were bad, Ren, I hawk out each and every one of them as I he escaped did. through the window, like like <sighs> scattering ants. Yes. Yeah. So they were spying. What did <sighs> they hear? I mean. This is not going as I planned, guys. Who's no. next? For me to. I think I was in. I was next in line. Uh, oh, right, uh, Sir Cubbalot, of course. Sir Cubbalot, yeah. please take a seat. You have much to discuss. Yeah. Okay. Jeez. Okay. We'll speak to the rest of you later. Back to guard duty. Hi, Cub. Sir Cubbalot. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, Scar. Jeez. <laughs> we don't have all day. <sighs> Cub. 
Yes. I am uh, very much excited about the magic that you're going to be bringing this here flying court. B double O have been talking up and I've been talking about yes. it for a few days now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's yes, amazing. Yes, indeed. Still skeptical though. I haven't seen any magic, to be honest. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it takes a while, you know, you gotta you're not it's not magical every day. Right. Oh. Oh. Um, well, listen, yeah. I am taking royal measures against the soup group this week because I've had enough of them and Ooh, I want my revenge okay. for the party. Okay, perhaps my magical powers yeah. can be of assistance? Absolutely. There's a little cute little minecart down there. I mean, it's Ooh. barely a minecart. It's a trashy little wagon that, that sells prismarine. Don't know if you've been there. Mm -hmm. Pathetic. Rubbish. Yeah, I've, I've been there. I've been there. Nonsense. Yeah. I want you to magic that thing away out of my eyeballs, please. I want it gone. Okay. I can do that. I can do that Excellent. absolutely. Yeah. I, by the way, Ren, I've brought I've brought you a little, a little Ooh. treat here. Uh, I'll just put this right over here. Uh, maybe on the bed. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. All right. I, All right. I'm not I will. Uh, I will. <clears throat> I will whisk away the cart. Uh, Gem's cart. Gem shop. And it'll that be name shall not be said in these chambers, Cub. Okay. That's right. Okay. My my bad. My apologies. She my who apologies. shall not be named. Shop. Is right, how yeah, we I refer to, to that Brussels sprout. Magic awaits, <laughs> my friend. Magic awaits. Farewell. Excellent. All right, now I'm feeling a bit better, BW, except for this bowl that has landed in my inventory. Yep. Outrageous. Yep. I got bowls as well. <sighs> Pathetic. I can't believe they showed up like that. BW, will you please come forth and stroke Impulse's head to calm my nerves, please? Yes, yes, <sighs> yes. God, thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, oh, you're welcome. Good. Yes. Uh, next. Next! Alrighty. <laughs> you know there's two doors, right? Wait, what? There's another oh, door? Hey, oh! oh, oh hello! Oh, hey, 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 the soup group continues to cause chaos amongst the civilian population. And others. I have attempted to inject our own royal currency into the system. It's not going well. Yeah, when do we get paid again? I'm almost out of all those. Okay, you use them though. You like them though, right? They're really great, right? You love them. More than diamonds, right? You love them. They're fantastic. I yeah. need so mm -hmm. much concrete from Green's shop, yeah. and he's going to be thrilled. Exactly. Oh, oh. You love them too, right, B-Dubs? That's the emeralds. I love them. I've been mm. using them all across the land. Excellent. So, Joe, I'm also extremely pleased with your loyalty task from this week. The pinball machine looks magnificent with my head on it. It, oh. it reflects your magnificence. Well, yeah. um, I want to stop anyone else ever getting diamonds again, Joe. I think it's about time we declare our second... Uh, our second law on the server, Impulse, has once again been slain. Yes, <laughs> it's a glorious day. Okay, now I'm feeling much better. Joe, from today and forthwith and forever, I do declare the third law. Thou shalt not mine diamonds. Please go forth into the lands and make these heathens aware of this here law in whatever necessary action you deem fit to make it necessary that everybody knows not to mine diamonds. Thank you very much. That attendance. is way more permission than anyone should ever give me for anything. Bye. Bye. Ah, oh, wonderful. Once again, struck down. Oh, yes. yes. It's a glorious day. Yeah. Perhaps I shall have two impulse heads to stroke at this ah, rate. Ah, yes. That would be wonderful stroking. Cleo. Lady Cleo. My Come lord. Forth. And B-dubs. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Right. Oh, don't break character. I'm sorry, yet. I didn't well, get permission to sit. My lord. We're trying to be serious here, man. This is yeah. role playing. You, please you take a seat, sit. Lady Cleo. I, I'd appreciate your permission to sit, sir. I desperately require mm. every, you to permit me to do anything, sir. I've just noticed both of you are not wearing the royal glasses. Um, I got astigmatism. Um. Yeah. <laughs> no. I, I'm short-sighted in yeah. one eye, long-sighted in the other. It's, it's a whole thing. Um, yeah. Yep. I've, I've got my shield, though. B-Dubs doesn't have the shield. Lady Cleo, you are oh looking Lord. wonderful today, might I say. I would argue I always look wonderful, but I appreciate the, the king saying that in his private Indeed. area. Though thine looks wonderful, though, I still trust thee not, Lady Cleo. 
However, I will say, beautiful work on the um, the glorious seahorses. Wonderful. Wait. They are magnificent. You said that was that was the loyalty test. That was the seahorses. Yes. So, and you still don't trust me. I don't. I do not. Why? Look me straight in my pixels and tell me that you are loyal to me, Lady Cleo. I am loyal to the tiniest of crowns. Oh, and whoso wears the tiniest of that, crowns. It feels a little backhanded. You don't wear the tiniest of crowns, B-dubs. You don't want <coughs> me, to, me to get on your bad side. Sorry, okay. Uh, B-dubs, are you playing Command & Conquer over there while we're having a meeting, man? Yes, and if you, won't, if you keep quiet, I'd be able to w win this thing. <laughs> Oh, don't be silly, B-Dubs. You can't win anything. Oh. Um, Lady Cleo, I would also like to add that uh, the Royal Emeralds, they share the same colour as your eyes. Magnificent. That's why Magnificent I like them. Magnificent green. And that's Indeed. why they shouldn't be hidden behind royal glasses. And that is why every single hermit on the server should be using them in abundance in the shopping I district. agree. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I have taken note, though, been watching some episodes, and... People have been AFK and getting resources and not using Royal Emeralds in the shopping district. Outrageous. It's that time this comes to an crazy. end. We shall force these fools to use Royal Emeralds, a Lady Cleo, and thusly and forthwithly from this moment and forevermore shall I declare the fifth, the fourth, the sixth, one of the laws. Thou the shalt most... never AFK. Thou shalt never AFK? It has thus never. been decreed. Okay, it, it has thus been, and what do you want me to do about that? Lady How Cleo, please go forth into the land and let it be known across the land of Hermitcraft that AFKing is now banned forever. And anybody wow. caught AFKing shall end up ahead in my palm. Love, oh. I love it. It, it, it! it is a most just and wise law, my lord. Yes. I yes. shall go and, and yeah. Go forth. Bye! Make it known. Greetings, cyberdogs and citizens of the Interbubs. This is Rain Diggity Dog coming at you in another Minecraft episode for ROM, the Hermitcraft server. We're kicking things off today, my friends, from a sleepy, snowy village in the middle of freaking nowhere, where for the past couple of days or so, I've been using the unsuspecting villagers of this very fine settlement to produce an insane amount of gigapies for the king. For today, my friends, we've got a plan to make sure that gigapies are the only choice of foodage here on the Hermitcraft server, which means maximum diamond profits for King Ren Diggity Dog. I mean, you love to see it, everybody. Now, I know what you're all saying out there. I've read it in the comments. You're saying, Ren Diggity Dog, why can't you just let this go, man? So what if the hermits had a party in your basement? Who freaking cares, right? Well, my friends, it's not quite as simple as that, all right? As a king, I must show that I cannot and shall not and will not ever in a million years as ruler of this here fine land be disrespected like some sort of Brussels sprout. No, 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 there will be consequences for those that fiddle with my vault. And thusly, from this day forth and forevermore, moving forward, I declare yet another law here on the server, that law being, thou shalt eat only gigapies from now on. Yep, everybody's gonna be only eating gigapies. It's a new law, it's happening. But of course, if I expect the hermits to eat gigapies, they need to have availability of gigapies to eat. And so, on live stream last week, man, it's really hard to keep up this facade, by the way, guys. Um, yeah, on live stream last week, we came out here to this village and we set up a little pumpkin pie factory. We've got a few farmers here in their booths and we built a very janky little carrot farm, which I'm actually kind of proud of. This thing came out of my own brain, and uh, we call this Ren Stone. It ain't pretty, but it works. And it works a little something like this. We plant the carrot inside here, and uh, when we stand on this pressure plate, this dispenser will start growing the carrot. We also then turn the factory on, which is going to um, basically push this piston back and forth here using a, uh, an etho hopper clock back here. And uh, every time that piston covers this cell, it is going to put the carrot into darkness. The darkness is going to break the crop. And uh, all we have to do is stand here AFK, holding right click, 
And, well, we are basically just growing an infinite amount of carrots, which I have been using to trade with the villagers to reset their trades and get emeralds to rebuy the pies and whatnot. So, um, yeah, nice little bit of redstone over here. <laughs> It does the job. I mean, it's not exactly the fastest carrot farm that I've ever seen, but hey, uh, it works, and um, that's all that matters. And yeah, then we can come over here, sell the carrots to the uh, villagers over here, and uh, buy ourselves some pies. Also buy ourselves some carrots too, because why not, right? And yeah, hopefully I've got enough pumpkin pie now to start enforcing the rule on the server that the hermits will only eat pumpkin pie from now on, but... Um, we also have to rename all of these pumpkin pies to giga pies. And at the moment, I've got, what, one, two, uh, three, and a smidge shulk boxes of pumpkin pie to go. So, um, yeah, um, it's going to be a long afternoon of using an anvil and getting a lot of XP from the Enderman farm. But it all shall be worth it when I walk across my lands and witness my subjects eating giga pies. And only giga pies. Because, um, <clears throat> yeah, why, why are we doing this again? Yet another glorious day has begun in my kingdom of Hermitcraftia, my fair subjects from all over the Gigaverse, and take a look at this wondrous surprise I have thusly discovered this morning in the throne room. No idea what is going on here. There's a bunch of birds, there's a bunch of cakes, and I do love me a bit of cake, not gonna lie. So this looks to be perhaps a gift for the king that has been left here by one of my loving and most loyal subjects. Let's go take a look. Are there any clues as to what's cracking over here? Hmm. Hold on, my shenanigan alarm is going off, guys. Perhaps we need to be a little bit cautious about this. What do you say, little impulse, my precious? Is this a prank from the soup group? Trying to lay down a very cakey trap for the king? What say you, precious impulse? Royal cakes, a treat for the king with a lot of kissy faces. Ah. Uh. This is getting a lot more suspicious the further I look into this, guys. I am, um, hmm, rather curious about what's happening here. Hold on. Party parrot. Party parrot. Party parrot? Are these all party parrots? What? Uh, okay. Do these cakes have names or something? No, these are just cake. Right. Um, do they do anything? Any twisting and turnings to be going on up in this here business? My friends, what is going on here? All right, let's take a little bit of damage jumping off the, the royal throne over here, guys. There we go. We've got a bit of hung hunger in the belly now. I shall eat a slice of cake quite gladly. And hold on. Hold on. Something's happening, babies. Oh, my goodness. Oh my <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this is wondrous. This is absolutely wondrous. The parrots are dancing for the for their highness, for their majesty, Ren the king, not only the king of the hermits, but the king of the parrots too. And what a glorious sight this is, look at them bobbing away. Oh, this is wonderful. This is absolutely wonderful. Oh my goodness, what a great way to start the day on the Hermitcraft server today, guys. Jeez, this is so awesome. Just logged in to start recording some stuff for this episode. And, uh, well, came in here and saw this magnificence. And this is just wonderful. So many good vibes. Who has given us this wonderful little gift here, guys? I wonder who it is. Is there anything in the barrels? No. I mean, there are the, uh, the jukeboxes there. So there's definitely something going on. No idea how this is working, though. Like, what the... What is happening? How did that happen? Uh, we right we're eating the cake. That turned it on. Is there anything, like, underneath the cake? Wait a minute. How is this happening? There's no redstone or anything here. I mean, here are the jukeboxes. But no wiring or anything. Uh, okay. Well, this has got to be some sort of magic going on here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's all coming together. Impulse, my, my little precious. It's all coming together. <laughs> in Cubfad's meeting last night, we recorded our meetings last night in my bedroom upstairs. He put a cake on my bed. Do you guys remember that? Oh, this must have been- this is cub fan magic, is it not? Hold on. Where's my bedroom? Hold on, let's go have a look. Does the- does the cake in the bedroom do anything? Or is this just cake in the throne room? Hold on, here's my bedroom. Yep, look, there's cub fan's cake. It's still here. Um, right, there we go. I'm a bit hungry. Will this do anything? No, that doesn't do anything, but 
Oh, man, that was like a little hint from Cub during his meeting with me last night, right? He put the, the cake there to, to lay down a bread crumb or a, a cake crumb, if you will. Cake crumb, you see what I did? Because the cake in the... <clears throat> yeah, this is definitely Cub fan. Only Cub fan could do something so wholesomely awesome, am I right? I want to get these parrots dancing again, man. How do we get them dancing? I put the jukebox in again. Here we go. Oh, man, we put the records in. We put the records in, then the birds dance for us. Oh, you know what? We're going to kick things off today with a bit of a dance with the birds here, yeah, my friends. This is this is how I want to rule on the server. What a glorious and magical day. I don't want to go build anything. I just want to dance in my throne room with parrots. This is wonderful, man. I got my precious in my hand. I got my cakes. I got my birds. Life is wondrous, everybody. Life is... <sighs> Life is wondrous. Ladies and gentlemen of the King's Global Court, I must be honest with thine all on this fine day in my kingdom. For the last week or so, I've been feeling a little bit uneasy. I've been feeling like we potentially are losing our grip on our rule here on the Hermitcraft server. And to be honest, I, I don't like it. I don't like the way that it's felt. And I've been kind of stressed about it. I've been spending a lot of time in my vault, just thinking and pondering, trying to figure out exactly what to do to get the grip we once had upon this server once again firmly in my fingers. And well, I gotta be honest guys, I'm starting to feel a lot better that the new rules have thusly been declared across the Hermitcraftier kingdom. The Hermits will now only be allowed to eat Gigapies. And to add to the Gigapie awesomeness, the amazing Iskal 85th of his name has thusly created a new game in the name of Gigapies called Digapie, thus putting Gigapies firmly in the mind of all of the Hermits here on the server. I mean, if they don't get the message that Gigapies are the only food worth eating on the server now, I don't know what else I can tell you, my friends. Not only that, Sir Joe of the Says has been hard at work declaring a new law for us. Thou shalt not mine diamonds. And what an incredible sight that billboard is. Oh, you love to see the tiny crown on top of there. Looking magnificent. Lady Cleo has also been hard at work letting Impulse know that he shalt never AFK with her own magnificent billboard over here. Yeah, Impulse definitely trying to get into the economy of the server with the eye buy. And, well, we've just let him know via some very nifty billboard work that there is a new law here on the server that will stop him generating the resources that he needs to open eye by. Amazing work, Lady Cleo. I mean, I didn't trust her at the start of this episode, but what can I say? After this, Cleo is definitely my top knight. She's my, she's my top knight. I'm going to say it, guys. Cleo's up there. She's just surpassed Sir Joe of the Says because that is a really magnificent billboard, I must say. I've also been hard at work this morning here, guys, setting up some fresh Royal Gigapie stands. I mean, if we're gonna force the Hermits to eat Gigapies, we need to make sure that they can buy the Gigapies, and that means more diamonds for the Ren Diggity Dog, and that means we can fill our vault with all of them shiny blue rocks. Oh, beautiful, man. We're gonna pile those diamonds high. And of course, here at the Gigapie stands, um, you can only buy Gigapies with diamonds. <laughs> Also just noticed there's a battle going on over here between a pig man and the gigapie stand guy. Oh! Oh! Uh, that's kind of awkward. Gonna have to add a new... <laughs> new pie seller. Wow, that threw me off my rhythm. Anyway, after that bit of murderization, here we are, guys. Gigapie stands, yes. One diamond per stack. We're giving them a, a discount, actually. There used to be two diamonds a stack, but now you can get your cheap, freshly baked gigapies for just a diamond a stack. Uh, but we are not accepting royal emeralds, of course. Diamonds only for gigapies, hermits. Yeah, um, like I say, you know, we need the diamonds for the vault. I mean, you know, makes perfect sense. Go spend the royal emeralds in the other shops. Willy-nilly, do not worry. They are valued one to one. Uh, one royal emerald for one diamond, except at the gigapies stands where you can only use diamonds. And yeah, I don't want any arguments about this, guys. I have thusly decreed that only diamonds shall be spent at gigapie shops. And, well, that's just how it's going to be. And speaking of Gigapie shops, guys, I've also set up another Gigapie store here in the heart of the Nether Hub. 
The hermits now have absolutely no excuses whatsoever to fill their beddies with giga pies and fill my vault with diamonds. And honestly, I think that's a perfectly fair exchange if you ask me. Ooh, and while we're out here, guys, I did quickly want to check in on Sir Good Times with Scar, aka Hot Guy, because in our meeting, he did say that he added Giga Pies to the cookie shop. Just want to make sure that he has actually done so. I do like the fact that the shop has been endorsed by the king. Very, very good. Ooh, now selling Giga Pies for a limited time. A limited time? Um, I'm pretty sure that I specified forever, but whatever, that's fine. Um, where are these Giga Pies? Let's have a look. He should be selling them over here. That's what I wanted. Oh, Giga Pies sold in the factory. Okay, not quite what I asked for, but I suppose... Oh, here we go. I suppose I'll take it. Giga Pies, let's have a look. Ooh, a Giga Pies stack for two diamonds. And there's already been some sales over here with the diamonds. Oh, that's fantastic. And of course, as the king has thusly decreed that all Giga Pies profits shall be going into the vault. I just declared that now. We shall be taxing Scar's shop here and replacing the diamonds with the Royal Emeralds. I mean, the Royal Emeralds are just as valuable as diamonds. So Scar should be absolutely happy with that, am I right? And these freshly sold Giga Pie diamonds going straight into the vault. Nice. Oh man, just take a look at that glorious kingdom behind us, everybody. As ruler of these lands, I'm so proud and honored to call myself King of Hermitcraftia. And on this very fair evening across my kingdom, I feel like order is being restored once again. Except for some shenanigans on the sh Thou Shalt Not Party sign, which... I'm just going to ignore for today because I'm feeling good vibes today. I'm in a good mood. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to let that tarnish what is otherwise an excellent start to my royal day on the server. You know what, guys? I'm just going to ignore that sign. I was about to do something about it and get really angry and really mad, but my kingdom is just looking so magnificent right now. I want to just enjoy the moment, enjoy the happiness that this kingdom is bringing me in. I want to go spend some time with my diamonds in my vault. I mean, this is my happy place down here, guys. You know, people are going to mess with my signs. I'm just going to come and chill with my diamonds. I mean, come on, guys. You can't tell me that it doesn't feel amazing running back and forth across so many diamonds and so many diamond ores. Oh, this vault is just glorious. It makes me so happy. And all the shenanigans on the server are just slowly fading into the distant memory, my friends. You know what, guys? I think that's going to about do it for us here on the Hermitcraft server today. I want to spend a few more hours down here with my blue rocks. And I guess then I need to start editing this video because I know it's a couple days late already. Sorry about that. Real life and everything. Guys, thank you so very much for watching this episode. And I'm very glad that my knights have once again begun to restore order to these here parts. And hopefully... Hopefully the hermits will get the message. Eat your giga pies and behave, please. That's all I ask from all of you out there. And, uh, well, soup group, I got my eyeballs on you. And if you're watching this episode, don't push your luck. I'm warning you. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Ren, the king, the diggity dog, signing out. And we'll smell you all in the next episode.